Mrs. Wilson! I didn't realize you were here. I don't think I've seen you since my wedding. How have you been? It's all peaches and cobbler. But it must be terrible. Robert dying and now my mother's sick. It's a shame. It seems like my entire life now. Visiting sick friends and I hate to say it, but I get invited to funerals every other week. Her doctors say there's a chance she understands what's happening around her. I'm sure if she could speak, she'd tell you she's thankful that you're here. She doesn't have to be thankful I'm here. She's my oldest friend. I've always been there for her. And I'm always here for you too, darling. Would you like some marshmallow cookies? I can make a batch. Oh no, Mrs. Wilson. I haven't had marshmallow cookies since I was little. Don't have the same metabolism. Don't fret so much over your figure, darling. You look just as you did on your wedding day. You flatter me. Chloe, do you think you could fetch me a glass of water? I'm a bit parched. Of course. Anything you need. I hate to ask, but old joints, you know. Tiffany, my dearest friend, there's something I have to tell you before you go. I killed Robert. Poison in his potatoes. It feels great saying that out loud for the first time. I killed my husband. That was great the second time too. Now the reason I'm telling you this is because unfortunately I have to kill you as well. You see, it didn't work out the first time, but now I know what I did wrong. If I am to summon death, I must take what is his. When I kill you, death will know he has been stolen from and he will come to me to avenge my theft and I will challenge him. And when I conquer death, I will never have to die. How should I do it? Kill you, I mean. If you have any last words, you should say them now. No? You're awfully quiet today, Tiffany. Something on your mind? If you don't have anything to say, I'll just get on with it. Robert? Foolish woman. I'm death. Why do you look like that? Are you expecting someone more cloaked? Perhaps with a scythe? I thought you'd at least have a hood on. Do you fear hoods, Mary? Why would I fear hoods? I appear to people as their fears. Since you don't fear hoods, I'm not wearing a hood. But I don't fear my husband. He's a puny man who didn't have the courage to take what I had the courage to take. It's not your husband you fear. It's what he reminds you of that does. He reminds me of Wheel of Fortune reruns and Chef Boyardee's soup stains. That's a lie. Every time you think of him, you replay his death. You watched his end. You waited by his side as the foam around his mouth curled between his lips as he begged you to call 911. But it scared you, watching his body shut down. First his labored breathing quit, then his eyelids fell, and finally, his heart pumped no more. Then you wondered where he went, praying there was nowhere to go, then praying there was. And I would do it again. But it scared you, watching his body shut down. I'm Robert because he represents what you fear. When was the last time you laid flowers by his grave? I... Uh, I... Mary Wilson, you lived a foolish life, and now you will die. No! Wait!